Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week 159 of Build Your Stash and Craft. Today we are going to make roller stamps so that we can roll along the edge of a page or um, the reason I wanted to make this is I want to make some, some stamped tissue paper and I want to have a little bit more pattern to it. And so we're just going to make an easy roller stamp that we can continue to make more and more roller stamps with the same one and um, it will be very cost effective versus having to go out and buy a bunch. So um, what we purchased for this week was we got some baby powder and we got an easy peel lint roller. Now I've already peeled off a lot of the, the pieces of the lint roller and you just, you know, just like when you use them, when you're done using that one, you just peel that off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these aside. I don't have a project, I have a couple thoughts in mind. Originally I thought that I would just decorate one of these and then I could peel it off and just stick it back on every time I wanted to use it. The problem is, is that the underside this sticks really well when you first get it, but once you peel it off, this is a parchment type paper on the back, and so once you peel it off, if you go to stick it back on so that you can try and use it again, it does not stick very well. It wants to come right back off again. So, so we can't use it that way. Um, but and what you're going to want to do is we want to make this roller the same size as our paper towel tube or you can use a toilet paper roll whatever you have um, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep I've rolled up I've taken off quite a few and with this one here we're going to get almost to the very bottom or almost to the very base of this before it's going to slide onto here and you know I've taken this off like this and it will slide onto the base fairly nicely, but it's not tight, and we want it to be tight. So we're gonna to have to leave just a little bit, even if it's only just the cardboard that holds the glue on. But So we're just gonna continue taking this off, and then I just kinda of layer them up on each other. When you go to put these away, if you save them, I'm gonna save mine, because I'm, I'm thinking we could do something. I have a couple ideas. Um, I just put them on top of each other like this, but when you go to store them, you're gonna to wanna to get a piece of parchment paper and put them in a piece of parchment paper because the sticky side um, is very sticky. I actually had a piece of paper that got on top of one of them and it didn't wanna come off. It did, but it was, it was really stuck really well. So, but that's a good thing because we, you know, if we're gonna use it for something, it's nice that it'll be sticky. And like I said, they just don't stick to each other really well. I'm going to take off one more, and then we'll test our paper towel roll again to see how close we are. And when you start getting really close, you want to take them off like one layer at a time because that's quite thick. So by the time you take a layer all the way around, um, it actually, yeah, we are definitely starting to get close here. Um, so yeah, each one layer does give a real bit of bulk so now that we're getting close you because you just don't want it to be loose so every time that we take one off and yep it's definitely getting really close you don't want to overdo because once you take them off you can't put them back on it just doesn't work very well so we're going to try it each time and you just don't want to, you don't want, if it says, if you think, oh, yep, it's going to fit, don't, don't stuff it in there too far because the sticky part will stick inside your paper towel roll. But we're still not quite there. i got to find the end of it now. And like I said, this one, we may wind up going all the way down to the cardboard tube that holds these on. But we just want to make sure because we want it to be tight, so once we put our stamps on here, um, it will hold when we go to roll it across our paper. You don't want it to be loose enough that it will just stay where it's at as you're rolling, and the roller will roll, but your your stamp will just kind of stay in, it, in place. Really close. And you can fast forward through this part it's not that important, you know, like, I don't want to say that you can see what I'm doing. But I just want to make sure that, that you can actually, 
Okay, now that actually just slid over the edge of that. So I think it's gonna fit right there. So what I'm gonna do right now, because I believe that that's my spot and I don't wanna push it on there any further, I'm gonna take a little bit of baby powder and I'm just gonna put a little baby powder on here. If I can, I didn't wanna have a whole ton come out. And then I'm just going to rub it around to make this not sticky anymore. And I don't have enough it's down here, so we'll get a little bit more. You just, you don't want it to be sticky because you don't want it to, even when you've got it stored, you don't want it to stick to something. And you definitely don't want it to stick to your paper towel roll. And each one of these will be a little bit different. When you go to, whoops, just pulled that right off. When you go to purchase one, look at one that, that definitely looks like you'll be able to get at least smaller than your paper towel roll. All right, gonna, I took that off. I'm gonna push that out. Where'd it go? Oh goodness, here it is. I'm gonna, yeah, make sure I get that snapped back on there. Whoops. Put it through this way. All right, so now that we've got it to where we think we need it, I'm going to put it back on here again. And there we go, and that's fitting on there. Like I said, it is tight, but I think that that's exactly where we want it to be. So now we have our roller prepped. And like I said, when you buy a roller, make sure that it rolls nicely because my original one that I bought um, worked really well, and this one actually had more paper left on it when my rolls fit on there. I've got two, two here. This one was just with little... Um, I just punched it with my paper punch and then this was just the scraps and I just pieced them together in a very random order and put them on just a little piece of, of paper towel roll and then I just put it on there to store it there um, but this one this one when you go to roll it it doesn't want to roll it's like it just wants to slide and so it, it's not really a good one but I can use these also on here because it's the same size paper towel roll so and if you um if you find that sometimes you buy paper towel and your rolls are different sizes, then put aside a couple of rolls and just write on them, you know, for roller stamps so that you have the right size paper towel holder for what you made, for what you made here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a size that we want our roller to be. Now, I don't want my roller to be the whole width of... Um, of my roller I just want it to be about an inch or so and actually I cut some chevrons here and I want to make a chevron roller so I cut some of these that's how wide I'm going to cut it but to start with I really want to get the baby powder off my hands because I don't want this all covered with baby powder because we want to glue our chevrons on here so I am going to just try and cut a straight line and what I'm going to do in order to cut it is I'm just going to flatten it now when you flatten it like this what happens is it does have a little bit of um, corners um, you know those little folds when you go to put it back on your roller that something you know you have to kind of straighten those folds out but I still find that this is the easiest way for me to get a straight line So I'm going to do that, and then my chevrons, and of course my chevrons, I did not necessarily cut my piece of white to make sure that it was straight, but it looked pretty straight. So the edge of my chevron, whoops, I'm going to put the chevron in there like that. The edge of my chevron is right there. I just don't want a whole bunch of my paper towel roll sticking out on the edge of it because that could possibly put... Um, ink on my page but I also don't want to have my chevron sticking out over the edges because then it's not going to want to make good contact I'm going to kind of check up here that looks good I'm going to check down here and that looks good so that must be pretty straight and so I'm just going to cut it you know it just moved a little bit I'm going to cut it right there I didn't cut all the way through right there okay 
So now that we've got that done, and we can still do it kind of why it's flat for a little bit, and then we'll round it back out um, to get those, those edges, but we can start. And I use tacky glue for this because it grabs quicker. In order to cut the chevrons, I folded, I'm gonna show you how I cut my chevrons. I folded the um, fun foam in half. So I had a piece of fun foam, a length of about what I thought I needed, and then to cut the chevron, I just folded it in half, cut my very first angle, and then that piece is just junk. And then what I did was I came in about a quarter of an inch or so, just tried to make them all about the same size, and I did not measure, but you can if you want to, and then just continue going at an angle like that, and then you wind up with your chevrons. And these ones I didn't make as pointy quite as these ones. This one looks a little bit better because it does. this one doesn't have quite as big of an angle as I would like, but it still will work good. And I just, just continued cutting all the way down until I got my chevrons cut, till I thought I had enough. And then we're just gonna glue them on. Now, because I folded it in half, the my I folded this one like this. That's how my fold was. So these want to be this way. And so that's the way that I'm going to put my glue on. Because if you do it, if you if I glue this side, what's if I glue on this side, what's going to happen is they're going to want to lift up. If I glue this side, they'll stay down better because I can just push it down and it will hold better by doing it that way. So you want to get a good amount, you know, a good amount of glue all over your chevron. You don't have to have like a whole bunch of excess that's going to squish out, but you want to make sure that the whole chevron has glue on it because you're going to use it over and over. You want it to stick nicely. So that was a big glob of glue coming out of my glue pot. So I just put it in the middle. And I'm going to spread it out to each edge. And I'm going to leave about the same distance between my chevrons. Whoops. As about how wide they are. So just like that. And I'm just going to go around and I'm going to put all of these on here like this. And then once I get this side done, then I'm going to round it back out again and continue with this side. I'm not going to leave the fold and then try and put one there at the very end. Um, just because then it might not be spaced correctly between the one I had here and the one I started with here. So I'll just continue going around until I get all the way around and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back. And um, so I have our chevron all on here and it's pretty dry I think it's dry enough to use and what I did was after I got them all on and I did continue to go even where the folds were and continue around then I took another piece of um, paper towel roll and I cut it so that I could make it a little smaller and put it inside and then extend it so that I could press down on this and um, it worked Except that it wasn't as, like, if you put your fingers in there, it works really well. But I was sitting, my glue was sitting there, and I thought, hmm. So then I took my glue and stuck my glue in there, and that was perfect. So then I could go around and just press them all down really well, leave them to dry in a nice round, um, round way, <laughs> whatever. And, um... You know, so that they could dry that way. Now, if you don't have a glue bottle that size or anything, you could also just like roll up newspaper or something and put newspaper in there just to make that a little bit sturdier so that you can put that on there and you can give it a press. But you don't even have to do that. You know, you can just press it like this if you want to and, um, you know, just let it sit and dry. And every so often, just go and just make sure that it's, that it's pressed down as it's drying so that you know that your glue has good contact. So the reason I wanted to make this was for some tissue paper. And so I grabbed a piece of tissue paper. This is just tea dyed tissue paper. 
And um, I literally just made a really strong cup of tea, took a paintbrush, and painted a large piece of tissue paper. And then right before I came here, I just quick um, ripped the edges so that it was about the size of a piece of paper for two reasons. Number one, so I could kind of fit it in screen. And number two, because when I roll on this, because it's tissue paper, it's going to go through. So I'm going to let it go through onto my piece of cardstock. And um, then I'll just have another thing with some... Um, with some interest on it. So what am I going to use? I'm going to use our um, ink pads that we made. And the thing about these ink pads is because this is not a really good way to store them as far as it doesn't keep them airtight, um, they dry out. But I did want to show you, now this is, I did the brown and the blue. I got those ready before I came back. But I want to show you, let me just grab the yellow one here. Um, how you do that because what happens is they get dry and um, and that's just because the hand sanitizer has alcohol in it um, and alcohol dries so the way that I do it is I make sure that my flat side is down you know the side that I want to roll on is not up at the time that I do this I make sure that it's facing down and then see this is just completely dry and then all you do is just take some of your hand sanitizer that we used to make it with and then, you know, just give it a you know, few good pumps, like maybe like four. I'm running out of hand sanitizer. But so long as you haven't used, if, you, if you've used up all the color in there, if you've used all of the ink, um, you know, then this isn't going to work. But any pad whether it's yours or store-bought or whatever, that dries out on you, if you know you haven't really used up the ink, um, then just reconstitute that pad with whatever type of pad it is. If it's water-based, um, then use some water. And you might want to use like some water with glycerin in it um, to help keep it a little bit moist and to keep your pad soft. If it's an alcohol-based ink, then you're going to want to use some, some rubbing alcohol. And this is for pads that are dry that you're going to throw away anyways. If, you know, if they don't, if they don't work and you're not going to re-ink them with a re-inker, um, you know, and you know you haven't used all the ink in that pad, then go ahead and just get it a little bit wet with whatever it needs, whether it's alcohol or whether it's water with a little glycerin in it. And so this is what I do. Then, then what happens is, it's even a little bit stuck, is that starts to go through to the other side. And that's the side that we want to stamp on. So that's the side where I want the where I want the color to go. So you're just gonna go ahead and just work that in and then put the lid back on and let it sit for a little while. I did the blue and the brown probably 20 minutes ago. And so we're gonna see how they do. I'm going to set this aside because it now has yellow ink all over it. So I'm going to get that, whoa, I'm going to get that wiped off. And make sure that this is shut. And so that's, and then when I get ready to use it, I'm leaving the top side down so everything can soak through. When I'm ready to use it, I'm going to flip it over. So I think we'll do the blue being that this is tea dyed. I'm not so sure that the brown's going to show up real well on the tea dyed because it's a very light brown. And so here is our blue pad, and I have the, the flat side up. We're going to put this on our roller. So here is our roller. And like I said, it's going to be a little bit tight. You want it to be tight, but you want to make sure that you get it all the way on so that you have the, the pressure of the roller over your whole stamp. Don't just put it on a little ways. Put it all the way on there. And then I'm just going to roll this on my pad to get some ink on it. There we go. That looks pretty inked up to me, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And then just going to move the paper so you can see it. I'm going to start right down here and just try and roll up this edge. Oh, wait a minute. No, I want to go. Let me see. If I go this way, I'm trying to think of which way. It, oh, it really doesn't matter. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think which way the arrows are going to go. Okay, so I'm going to start right down here in the corner. And I'm going to try and keep it close to the edge. And there we go. And that didn't turn out really good. Is it that we, the way I was pressing it, is it the way that the ink was on there? Or is it the roller? So we're going to try it again. And it may be that I had just more ink on the inside edge. It also could be that I was pushing down more on the inside edge. All right, so we're going to try that again. And, oh, it didn't come through very much. I was going to say it comes through. Let's go across the bottom. Yeah, let's go across the bottom. And I'm going to just try and make sure that I have even pressure now. Make sure that I don't hold up. Because I do think what I was doing was because of the handle, I think I was kind of, because I have the handle here, I think I was kind of holding it like this a little bit, which was making it so we didn't there. Yeah, because this is much, much better. And then let's see. You know, at some point you're, oops, I shouldn't have picked that up. You're going to run out of ink, you know, on your, but the nice thing when you make ink, when you make stamps out of fun foam, it holds a lot of ink. And so, you know, you can get more stamping. I mean, there, that, we did all of this and all of this and all of this. Now, granted, it got lighter and lighter and lighter as we went, but we did that with just one inking of our roller. So phone stamps really do tend to go a long ways when you, when you, um, when you use them over and over. So that is what our foam stamps look like. And then here are, let's see here. Whoops. Here are the other ones that I had already made as my original samples to make sure everything would work okay. <laughs> it doesn't want to come off, but it will. You just work at it. And that's because it's nice and tight. So it's got to come off perfectly. You know, if you don't do it straight, then you got to go a little one side, a little the other. But let's see how this one comes off. Again, we're going to have... The thing is, I'm just trying not to stick my hands on it. But, oh well, we'll wash this off. There we go. All right, and we'll put this one on here. And I did um, try my blue stays on with that. Okay, this is my good one. Do that. I don't think we're going to have enough yellow, but let's try the yellow. I don't think, the yellow hasn't really sat long enough, I don't think, but we're going to see if we can get a little ink up here anyways. Let's see if the yellow is actually coming out or not. And again, I'm holding it up. I'm not keeping it flat. And the yellow's not quite ready to use yet, but it's mixing with the blue a little bit. Kind of giving us a yellow and a green. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks pretty cool. So there we go. We've got our roller stamps that we can make, and you can make all sorts of them. Make a bunch of them. Just keep them around for when you need them. Like I said, this one right here was just um, um, just scraps of when I punched out the holes to do that. And so I just did that very, you know, it's just very random just very odd but would lo look nice as just like maybe some marks here or there um I did roll it it's not real dark but yeah I rolled it here and it's just very different and you get like parts of circles and halves of circles and you can see the lines where they come together and it just looks kind of neat so I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, I hope that if you make some of your own that you have fun 
and like I said I want to make myself some tissue paper so it's going to be real good for this and then I'm just going to do some some stamping with some of my own homemade stamps in the middle and you know just wherever just because I wanted some tissue paper to have on hand that was already I wanted some kind of a pattern to it I didn't want it to be just so random so but I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you very much for stopping by I really do appreciate it and I hope that, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute for next week. I almost forgot. See, I take one week off and then I forget, start forgetting things. Okay, for next week, we are going to need some cardboard, like a cereal box. We are going to need um, some scissors, some tacky glue, and some nail polish. For next week, the one thing that we can buy is clear nail polish and that's if you don't have any left um, I do have some left but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick one up and then um, you'll need some of your color nail polishes too so that's what we'll need for next week we'll buy another clear nail polish because we very possibly if, if you really like it and start making events you might use a lot of this so um Clear nail polish is all we're going to need to pick up for next week. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.